with Rowena Shaddix live along Garden Highway where river water has subsided a little bit, Row, but it's still causing a lot of problems there. That is correct, Eric. It has receded a bit, but you can still see it is pretty high. And from what I was told last week, this bridge was impassable just because the water level was so high. It's just one of the things that the people who live along Garden Highway have to contend with living in a beautiful place, but always threatened by these floodwaters. You know the Sacramento River is high if you're walking up the tunnel to get to the Virgin Sturgeon along Garden Highway. It was a little bit higher. Really? It was a little bit higher. You couldn't get across that ramp last week. Beautiful million dollar homes line Garden Highway, but they come with a bigger price. This uh, was had about a foot of mud. Heavy rain from all the storms in recent days has a swollen Sacramento River flooding residential properties. At Larry Cassidy's home of more than 20 years, the water flooded the area under his home. We take a trash pump, which is like a big fire hose, and shoot all the mud back in the river. And you push the logs back in, and along with the snakes that may be on top of them. The highest has been is that table over there before. Oh, wow. Yeah. Normally, about, how far back, Larry, is the water? Is it just like to Yeah, about four feet back there. Four and usually it's down about 20 feet. Many of the homes are built to withstand flooding, so when the water rises, it eventually moves back into the river. Everything is designed to drain back. But depending on where the house is situated and what elevation it sits along Garden Highway. Other houses, they have real problems. I had a friend that had that in the lower bedroom used to flood every year. And that's a real mess to clean up. As you drive down Garden Highway, the floodwaters are far reaching. Some docks are underwater, others destroyed. Structures are surrounded by water, even a car. And Sandy Cove Beach is completely underwater. So it makes a difference at what elevation you're on the river, you know, whether you catch the debris or whether you get flooded or not. Yeah. Yeah. So if you go to buy a house, you better check it out and find out what it's like in flood level. That's good advice, yeah. And guys, again, this is the tunnel here, Virgin Sturgeon, that leads to the bar area. Now, you can always tell, locals can tell, they know if this is up or down, what those water levels are. Really a good way to tell how things are out here. Reporting live from Garden Highway tonight, Rowena Shaddix, Fox 40 News.